All right, ladies and gentlemen, heading to expedition number 65 in the Kenzu Bridge area. Last time we were there was, I believe, two years ago. So we're going to see if things have changed or if they stayed the same. Strap on your boots. Let's head out in the field. Hit squatch. All right, ladies and gentlemen, expedition number 65 heading to Kenzu Bridge. We've got Devin here with us, and we are rolling out here and uh, we're gonna see what kind of activity we get. Rolling along. All right, we're gonna be trying this uh, other spot down here, folks, really quick before we jot over to uh, the bridge area. Uh, somebody said that uh, they had a report of possible Bigfoot activity down here in the swamp area. There's a swamp off to the right, there's a swamp off to the left. And uh, it's, they said it's down here by the train bridge. Okay, so we're gonna go up here. We're gonna see if there's uh, any uh, detection. Uh, see if there's anything of Bigfoot up this way. That's posted up that way. But they said that there was uh, activity, Bigfoot activity at the uh, marsh okay so folks um this is where that report was from this individ individual that said that he went down by the swamp and um he's seen some big prints down by the the swamp and this is the swamp area that's down here so we're gonna see where this goes um and uh, uh see what's up Okay, so um, we, f we followed this little access road that comes down and around, and it came down here. And we uh, parked here, and we're going we're gonna to probably walk a little bit over this way, over towards this pond, and see if we could find any tracks. I mean, somebody was telling me that they were, they stopped along the side of the road. They stopped along the side of the road, and there was some deer and stuff they were looking at. So they got out of their vehicle, they went down by the, the swamp or the pond or whatever, marsh, and they were looking around and they're like, oh my gosh, look at that track. And they found uh, what appears to them as a Bigfoot track. Now this is a story about it. Um, they, they said just after the bridge there, the train bridge, so we're gonna check it out. Ourself. But apparently they said they just, you know, they got out of the vehicle. So that means up here at the beginning of the road. Okay, so we're proceeding down here. You could see some trails in through here though. I mean, it could be people fishing, maybe? But it could be also beavers. Oh, yeah, what's that? See, so there's something right here too. But we've we found something right here, folks. Uh, that looks like it's cupped up right here. But the tra this was this was a while ago though. I mean, this was uh, they said about uh, three weeks ago, two to three weeks ago. Possibly, a I don't know. But they said it was down here. They said they were taking pictures of deer or something and. 
They said they seen, uh, apparently. See, that's a boop right there. This might have been them, actual here. The, the person I talked to, they wanted to be anonymous, so. That, that's all right, that's all right. I understand. Ridicule and all that, you know. I mean, dude, that that was like three. That was like three weeks ago. We had that storm, man. So we're just looking around for those tracks. Uh, they said that they pulled over on the side of the road, and they seen some deer out here. And they seen tracks down from the road. That could be over here. That could be over here or right here. That could be like here or or down there. Or even on the other side. I have no clue. All right, we're just looking through the tracks up here because they said that they were here on the top or somewhere around here and they were, uh, uh, they uh, seen tracks. But time is catching up on us very quick, folks. Oh, there's a freaking trail there. Maybe that's where they parked. What the frick? That goes way out through there. That's the old narrow gauge right away. Really? It goes way out there, too. Yeah, this could be the... Oh, the BB and K right away. I don't think they ran up through here. I don't know what you would. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think that was our spot there. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, there's a bear way down there. And then we're going down here off to the right. <laughs> we're going to be uh, searching the area for any type of signs of any Bigfoot um, activity that was here once before. So we're going to check over this way for any um, type of activity and we're going to also check somewhere down some down this road as well. And then we are going to probably um, check one more other spot into the dark and then uh, call it a night. So that's uh, what we're going to be doing. Uh, there was a bear over here. Uh, he is uh, heading down this way, so I'm not worried about that. Let's let's just focus on what we got to do. There's something here. Look at this odd uh, complexity of a. Uh, Whatever it is. I'm hearing noises. All right, let's see. All right. Kind of hear like howling. Alright, so look over here. There's all kinds of trees, bushes pulled down. I mean, look at that up there. That's like weaved.
Yeah, there's something going on here. I don't I don't know what it, what they're using this for, squatches, but you could see some weird odd like this here. Where did that come from? Stuck in the middle of that tree, you know. And you got this here. Look at that right there. So you got a whole mixed match of weird stuff here, folks, like this here, this tree here shoved into there. And then this tree over here shoved into there. And then like over this way, you got another tree shoved and doing weird stuff. I was gonna put a high line in here, but something, I just have an, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it looks like there is activity here, but I, I say we just keep an eye on, on it and see what happens here. I mean, the structures around the trees are gone. You know, there was structures, they're gone. I mean, uh, sort of something over here apparently looks uh, to be a possible structure right there. But there's just not enough, you know, evidence. I mean, evidence is important, you know. I mean, evidence is massively important. So, yeah. So, all right, man. Well, let's, let's head back down to that trail. All right, folks. So, right now we're on a trail. We're going to walk it a little bit and uh, do some calls and stuff up here. Right now, a lot of people are leaving the park. They're leaving the uh, the uh, Kenzie Bridge Park, and uh, we also seen some people walking the trail up here that j that, that were coming back through. Um, we went we went over here to see if, um, or off to our right, to see if uh, there was any recent activity any tree structures that we've seen there in the, in the present in the past and there is some activity there um, but it's not enough to say that it was definitely um, squatch this year Devin seems to believe that it is seasonal so uh, that that definitely could be. So uh, we'll just uh, keep our eyes and ears open. All right, we got like coyotes going off. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, there, there's always a chance, you know. They go they go hand to hand. You know what I mean? I mean, sometimes you know, there's people that believe that. Bigfoot's actually follow the coyotes. It's just a mindset mind thing. I got my walking stick, but that's all right. There's like a weird tree bend right there. Look at that. Even back in there, a little bit of weird stuff. Was that Indian drums? I thought I heard.
this little, these mud holes, these little mud holes on the side of trails, it's always good to check them. If there are any signs of Bigfoot activity. How's that working for you? Something getting thrown right there. There's a moon. So so far, folks, we've heard a lot of coyote, coyote uh, a lot of coyote activity, and we've heard them where off to our left, and then off to our right over here. So we're going to move a little bit more further down Maybe do some calls down this way and knocks. And maybe set up the uh, full spectrum, I guess, to see what's coming down the road, up the road. Unless the IR is going. So far, coyotes. But with the understanding, but with the understanding of the amount of people walking these trails and the amount of people that are in the forest at the state parks, I mean, I'll guarantee there's still people over there at the park. I'll guarantee it. I thought I seen something walk right in front of us. That was kind of weird. Huh. That was weird. What was that? Hear that? That was weird. It's like I heard a a howl or something. Crying. Like a crying howl. Like, ah, mm. I'll try to hit this tree again. There it goes. Ooh. I heard a thump up the trail. That's me. That was me. I thought I heard a thump, like a, like a big, boom. like a big, boom. Hmm. 
us right up the trail there. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, here with Devin. And uh, we are uh, proceeding out this trail here. We're proceeding out this trail. And this is the full spectrum camera, by the way, that uh, was lent to us. And it's, I mean, it's not bad. It's not, the battery's not good, but, I mean, the, the actual footage is really good. But we are going to, uh, uh, we're going to proceed um, to head down the trail momentarily. Yeah, right <laughs> right now, Devin's playing doctor. All right, let's bring this up. All right, All right so we're just uh, I'm just looking right now. Oh, possible knockdown this way. Possible tree knockdown that way. Down this way. Whoa. Dude, I just recorded something running across the trail right there, right, right out in front of us. And I recorded it. I have no idea what it was. It moved from the right to the left, right across the trail. Oh, to the left. Got something over here to our left. Oh yeah, listen. That was a rock getting thrown. Sound like a rock getting thrown down the trail. Crazy. That sounded like a tree knock. Like, wow, folks. Jeez, we didn't even have to go far. Well, definitely fall is the fall is our prime time because there's not nobody you know there's hardly anybody around. Yeah. So. Um. This is the scoop. We are, uh, I'm using uh, a full spectrum camera thanks to, uh, full, uh, I'll give a shout out to uh, uh, Mr. Sutan, or Sutton, right? Sutton. Uh, I want to thank you for uh, your uh, donation because, I mean, it is definitely coming in handy. I mean, the battery ain't that, that good, but. Uh, we were able to uh, make it a little better. <laughs> um, 
So uh, we're going to proceed back down towards the car. Um, the sounds that we've been getting ever since we've been here is coyote, owls, people that are over towards the Kenzu Bridge. And uh, there was some noises through the woods. It, I thought I heard tree knocks. I thought I heard thumps. I thought I heard all that. But it never reoccurred to tell if it was thumps or if it anything else. It, it was never reoccurring. It was just one time and that that was it. It's definitely squatchy. So we did calls. We did blast calls through this thing and uh, did a lot of different stuff like that. Um, but uh, other than that, there's not really much activity as much as uh, I thought there would be. I mean, it's summertime. People are still, I mean, there's a lot of people in the woods. And uh, I guess it's one day at a time on this. Yeah, uh, just moseying down the trail here. I mean, what do you, what do you say? Uh, here, let me get you. So, I mean, do you, I mean, they, do you think they're not, do you think they're not in here? Or do you think they're just not in this area right now? Oh. Or Could it either or, you just have to look. Right, right. See, but being, you know, like being on top of, being on top of the uh, mountain, you know, most of their food and where they go is down in the valleys, you know. Yeah, yeah. more in the valley area. So, so almost like, um, yeah, Droney and down in to the bottom of the valleys. So if they are in this area, they're moving through. Yeah. They're not in the area itself. We definitely heard some howls. Definitely heard some weird stuff. Some of those howls did not sound like coyotes. They sound either like human. But then again, I've been doing this a while, and those were high pitch really high pitch howls. They could have been human. Could have. Yeah. Because it was coming from the bridge, like you said, you know? Yeah. It came from the bridge area. I definitely think they were over there screwing around, so... Okay. Okay, folks, so now... We're gonna proceed down to another area. Uh, we just got done eating and stuff and uh, see if uh, we get any um, activity down there. Hopefully we do. i got to make sure that everything's ready to closed here. So we're hearing like some sorts of gunfire too. That's kind of interesting as well. So, uh, alright. We'll see you when we get down there. <laughs> Do, 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 do. All right, we are just moseying down the road, heading to the next spot. See if any squatches are down there. We road. All right, folks. So we are going down this road we found um, down um, uh, the road a little bit. This could be another good spot for us to to try in the futures too. So we're just going to walk this road and see what kind of type of activity we get.
used to throwing rocks and stuff in this location just to try to um, have a possible squatch to be able to uh, throw it back at us. I'll try this. It's like deader than a doornail around here. Like, we've done everything, man, basically, to try to lure. We've done basically everything to try to lure anything in on us. Yeah. Whoops, woos, whistles. Let's see a lot of fresh. Did you do that? Yeah, so like French or something. Fuck is that? Rock's getting thrown back at us, man. Run the wrong direction. Rock Rock's getting thrown, guys. Right up here. It was coming from the road. From the main road. Squatch time. A big rock just came, like, coming through these trees, landed and hit the branches and fell on the ground. When we came down here, Devin started throwing rocks, so maybe... This is awesome. Kenzu is still squadgy. But you know what they're doing. They're not, you know what I mean? They're not. They're staying back. Like, you know what I mean? I mean, they're reasonably staying back. So almost like they're timid. Alright folks, so this is a scoop from uh, expedition number 65. Um, I just want to say it was a pretty interesting night. Um, we got a possible rock thrown at us down here in this gulge, down here in this little area that comes down here. and. Uh, Uh, also, some, I mean, we've heard coyotes, uh, a lot of coyotes, and uh, some other sounds and stuff as well, but that's about it in this area. Uh, uh, pretty much nothing else. I mean, just, there was a lot of people walking out on the trails today and, and stuff up here, you know, and that that plays an effect as well the storm itself that we had the horrible storm itself we had a few days ago had a lot to play effect too i don't know how but it there was something in you know that played an effect on, on also the activity bigfoot activity but i think number one thing is the presence of human activity because it seems like honestly the bigfoots are um, very timid to show themselves or do anything right now. They seem to be very scared, you know, and it's probably because of the amount of people. That's up in this area, though. I'm, ta I'm talking about in this area. And it's been like that for the last, what, two or three times we came up here. Just, there were... Well, especially now with everybody thinking that 
Coyotes, right? Mm. See, and also distant coyote sounds again. Just heard. Or I heard. It sounded like a saw. I Going so we're going to call it um, Expedition 65 in the bag and uh, uh, we'll let everybody know what's going on the 5th uh, we got another expedition coming up uh, then so uh, on my part that's what I, I got to say what about you Devin what do you what do you say about this uh, expedition and whatnot we did hear something like come out of the trees I don't think it was a nut or anything else because it was too loud right but he still could be around, but him coming out with all the people running around, I don't think so. Right, right. I think he's going to go in deeper. And just, uh, it, it's almost like the Sasquatch has a some type of, I mean, just scared of people or, or just uh, weary. Yeah, timid. Yeah, very timid. What He's do you think? Very timid creature. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, from expedition number sixty-five, what do you say? Mm, keep it squatchy. Keep it real. Woohoo! All right, here we go, guys. All right.